Hi, my name is Akande Jacob Ozove, and I'm a technical consulting engineer for Cisco Tax Server Virtualization Team. In this video, I describe how to configure LDAP on UCS Manager. For this demonstration, this is the setup. One instance of Windows Server 2016 and one UCS domain consisting of two fourth generation fabric interconnects. Two users, test user 1 and test user 2, are configured as members of the IT group within the video test.local domain in Windows Active Directory environment to manage a UCS domain via its UCS Manager web interface. Both users will use LDAP services to authenticate, granting them access to the UCS Manager dashboard. The configuration is done on both the Windows Server side and on UCS Manager. The Microsoft Active Directory and LDAP services have been pre-configured and are operational, therefore this demo will focus on setting up UCS Manager. For this, access the UCS Manager web interface. In the navigation pane, click the admin tab, expand all, user management and authentication. Right-click authentication domains and select create a domain. For the name field, type local, leave the default realm selection, which is local, and click OK. Creating a local authentication domain before you configure LDAP settings in UCS Manager is recommended. Logging in as a local admin user guarantees that you will have the access rights required to complete the steps in this procedure and could prevent you from having to spend time correcting invalid configurations. Next, choose LDAP in User Management. Under the General tab, select Create LDAP Provider. Populate the field in the LDAP wizard as follows. In the hostname field, type the IP address or the hostname of the LDAP server. In the order field, accept the lowest available default. In the bind DN field, impute a bind DN. This can be any user configured on Windows Active Directory, but in this lab, it is the administrator after the syntax cn equals administrator, comma, cn equals users, comma, dc equals video test, comma, dc equals local. As base DN, I have used video test.local written as DC equals video test, comma, DC equals local. For now, the enable SSL checkbox can be ignored. In the port field, accept the 389 default. The filter field is used by Cisco UCS to determine if the username provided on the logon screen by Cisco UCS Manager is in Active Directory. For this lab, the filter value is SAM account name equals dollar sign user id where user id is the username to enter in the ucs manager login screen leave the attribute field blank in the password field enter the password of the bind dn administrator account configured in active directory confirm the password if you ever need to go back to the create elder provider wizard to reset the password do not be alarmed if the password field is blank the set yes message that appears next to the password field indicates that the password has been set. The timeout field represents the duration for which UCS Manager waits for a response from the LDAP server before labeling it as down. You can set this to an arbitrary value of 30 seconds. In the vendor field, select the radio button ms-ad for Microsoft Active Directory. Click next. On the LDAP group rule page of the wizard, Enable group authorization. For the group recursion field, click the recursive radio button. This allows the system to continue the search down domain and groups level by level until it finds a user. If the group recursion is set to non-recursive, it limits UCS to a search of the first level even if the search does not find a qualified user. Accept the default for the target attribute field and click finish. Create an LDAP provider group by selecting Create LDAP provider group, then fill in the information accordingly. Give it a name. From the LDAP table, choose the previously created LDAP provider. Click the double greater than button to add this LDAP provider to your included providers table and select OK. Your provider group appears in the LDAP provider groups folder. Click on LDAP group maps, create an LDAP group map and populate the pop-up window. The group DN value requested in this step maps the distinguished name for the IT group created in Active Directory. For this reason, the group DN value entered in UCS Manager must match exactly with the group DN value in Active Directory server. 
To find the group DN, go to the command line interface of the Windows Server instance running Active Directory and type the following command ds query space group space dash name space the name of the group whose DN you need to know, in this case IT. This displays the group DN CN equals IT, comma CN equals users, comma DC equals video test, comma DC equals local. Copy the output and paste it to the LDAP group DN field in UCS Manager. In the roles table, select read only, since for this lab, the test users should not have admin privileges. Click OK. As a final step, in the navigation pane, expand user management and authentication. Right click authentication domain and create a domain. Name the domain and choose LDAP as the realm. From the provider group drop down list, select the previously configured LDAP provider group and click OK. Now, LDAP has been successfully configured on UCS Manager. To verify this, attempt logging into UCS Manager using one of the configured user accounts. Notice that in the login page, you now have the ability to select an authentication domain. Select your domain and proceed to login. Test user 1 login is successful. Thanks for watching.